Between 2008 and 2016, in what is now known as the Bolt Era, the Jamaican men won every single gold medal at the three Olympic Games and four world championships in the 4 by 100 meter relay. Led by Usain Bolt, they also set world records on three of those seven relay races. I do have to note, their 2008 win was later retracted due to Nesta Carter testing positive for a banned substance. But after 2016, the 2017 World Championships were somewhat indicative of what the men would be facing in the coming years. Bolt was running in his final World Championships and after getting the baton for the anchor leg, he fell to the track injured, ending Jamaica's hopes of defending their gold medal streak on the 4x1. Well, in the four years since then, it has been a tough road for Jamaica. But as the Olympics grow closer and closer, we need to ask if not only can Jamaica defend their Olympic title, but also can the Jamaican men medal in the 4x100 meter relay at the Tokyo Olympic Games. Let's start off looking at what the Jamaican relay team did in the first major championships after Bolt's retirement, the 2018 Commonwealth Games. At those games, we saw the first major sign that Jamaica may be struggling to keep up with the rest of the world. Though they fielded a relatively stripped down team, it did include Johan Blake and Warren Weir. Unfortunately though, they only managed to finish third place in the final with a time of 38.35 seconds. Though they earned a bronze medal, that was actually the lowest finish for the Jamaican men at the Commonwealth Games since 1998. Fast forward to 2019, first at the World Relays in Yokohama, Japan, there were the Jamaican men barely qualified for the final, running 38.51 seconds to be the last time qualifiers. In the World Relays final, they did manage to move up to 6th place, but running a significantly slower time of 38.88 seconds. Well, next we enter the Doha 2019 World Championships. This proved to be somewhat of a wake-up call of where the world was going in terms of the relays in this post-Bolt age. In the relay heats, every country significantly stepped up their game with 8 teams running sub-38 seconds. We saw Netherlands, Brazil, and China all run national records just to make it into the final. Even Canada ran 37.91 seconds and was left out of the final. But on the outside looking in was Jamaica. Though they ran a season's best of 38.15 seconds, that was unfortunately only good enough for 11th place and left them out of that final, which turned out to be one of the greatest 4x100 meter relay finals in history going down without them. That was the first time since 2001 that Jamaica didn't make the 4x100 meter relay final at the World Championships. Well, now we're here in 2021. With the Olympics just a few months away, Jamaica is in a pretty tough spot. Only 16 relay teams will be granted berths to compete at the Olympics. Right now, Jamaica sits in 11th position with the 38.15 second time that they ran in the heats of the Doha World Championships. The other big issue was they had to withdraw from the 2021 World Relays in Poland. The top 8 teams from those World Relays got automatic qualifying spots to the Olympics. So with that automatic opportunity missed, that means that Jamaica has to ensure that they run fast enough to not get knocked down out of the top 16 fastest relay teams in the world. They had run a 4x1 earlier this year where a team of Asafa Powell, O'Shane Bailey, Johan Blake, and Julian Fort ran 38.33 seconds. So a quick time but still slower than their current qualifying time of 38.15. Now assuming they make it to Tokyo, which they should be able to with their time, Jamaica has two big issues that are hindering their chances of meddling in Tokyo. First is their current talent pool. I just did a video recently talking about how deep the Jamaican men's team was in the 100 meter dash during the Bolt era, highlighted by their infamous 2011 season. Right now, Johan Blake is arguably the leader for the Jamaican sprint team, and he unfortunately is not anywhere near the Blake of 2011 and 2012. In the past four years, Johan Blake has only run a best of 9.94 seconds in the 100 meter dash. Behind him, you have names like Taekwondo Tracy, Julian Forte, Andre Ewers, Asafa Powell, and a few others as well. Only Tracy and Ewers have broken 10 seconds, and that was actually back in 2018. So they unfortunately don't have a deep talent pool of athletes to currently pull from to build up their 4x100 meter relay squad. The second issue is how much faster the rest of the world has gotten from both an individual and relay standpoint. 
Great Britain, South Africa, Canada, China, Japan, and of course the United States. They have all stepped up their performances with names like Noah Lyles and Trayvon Bromel, Zarnell Hughes and Reese Prescott, Andre DeGrasse and Aaron Brown, Akani Simbine, Hakeem Sani Brown. The world is pushing themselves to new heights to make sure that they meet the moment and then combine that with their relay times. Remember that 2019 World Championship final that Jamaica missed? Well, that turned out to be one of the fastest relay finals in the history of the event. Of course, there was no world record as Jamaica has often sometimes produced in the past, but look at these results. We saw five teams run sub 38 seconds, which is the first time that has ever happened in a world championship or Olympic final. Also, the top four teams set national records in that final. Remember, this is the first championship without Usain Bolt, so teams were stepping it up even without the fastest man in history on the track. So with the Tokyo Olympics just a few months away, Jamaica is facing an uphill task to not only return to the top of the podium where they stood for eight consecutive years, but simply getting into the top three and earn a medal. What do I think? Well, at this point, I can't pick Jamaica to medal in the 4x100 meter relay at the Tokyo Olympics just a few months away. I do think that they have some untapped young talent that is waiting to break out and run fast. So they will definitely be back on the podium in future championships once they put things together. But I think Tokyo is just a little too soon and they probably won't be able to put together a high quality team to compete with the rest of the world. But I want to hear what you think. Go in the comments below and let me know if you think the Jamaican men's 4x100 meter relay will be able to win a medal of any color at the Tokyo Olympic Games this year. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and be back again next time. Thanks.